This question comes from the 2012 SATS Maths Test A. It asks us to calculate 560 times 28, so we need to do long multiplication. There are lots of methods you can use, but we are going to show you one of the standard written methods or column methods. To multiply by 28, we are going to multiply by 8, then multiply by 20, and add the two results together. So we'll start with 560 times 8. 8 times 0 equals 0, and 8 times 6 equals 48, so we write down the 8 and carry the 4. Then 8 times 5 equals 40, plus the 4 that we carried makes 44. Now don't forget to cross out the 4 that you carried so it doesn't confuse you later on. Now we can do 560 times 20. So we write a 0 at the end, and then we'll multiply by 2. 2 times 0 equals 0, then 2 times 6 equals 12, so we write down the 2 and carry the 1, and then 2 times 5 equals 10, plus the 1 that we carried makes 11. Again, cross out the 1 that you carried so you don't think it's part of your answer. Now we can add those two numbers together to find our final answer. When we add them, we get 15,680, so that's our final answer.